Just send it. Sometimes the best memories in life are formed between you, your car, and a few friends. I'm Troy, and this is the journey for tomorrow. All right, so here we go. First overland trip, we're gonna run the Trans New Jersey Trail, which is from High Point State Park, the northernmost point of New Jersey, down to the Cape May Lighthouse, which is the southernmost point. It's gonna be me and anywhere between four and six other guys, still not 100% sure. Uh, but here we got my JL, which has been uh, pretty much fully built. Um, only thing I am missing, uh, to my knowledge, is the roof rack. Um, let me just show you what we got here. So we got the trasher roo on the back. Uh, Blue ID EB55, Domatic CFX 345 liter, uh, Blackstone 17 inch griddle on propane, shovel, uh, 20 gallon, I believe, Husky storage bin. Hopefully I will be getting the front runner wolf packs. Okay, alarm just went off because I had to set like 10 alarms so I'm worried I'm not gonna wake up. But yeah, I got the Shift Pod Mini 3, uh, leather duffel bag, uh, two pillows, small blanket, weather uh, weather jacket. Um, heavy duty, like weather, um, weather proof, you know, snowboarding jacket, uh, just an aluminum table. And I got on the other side, my sleeping bag. And then up here, um, nothing has changed. Actually, one thing has changed. Uh, I was looking right at Stinger High 10 radio. Absolutely love it so far. Um, only issues I have is with the GPS, but that's because I didn't hook up the um, GPS, uh, like little antenna thing that comes with because I didn't feel like taking off my hard top. Otherwise though, it works absolutely fine. I love it. Um, now looking at the eight inch screen in my friend's Jeeps, I just think, wow, that thing looks small. Um, but yeah, it's, um, See what happens. Three, four days out in the Pine Barrens. What's the worst that could happen? All right, so we are at High Point heading out now. It is... 7.44 a.m. Um, anyways, there's no more interruptions. Um, They're like 750 bucks. Really? Yeah. So I, could, I, bought, I built that for... I didn't have much time once I got to the monument to look around since maps took me on a route that had me 20 minutes away from everyone. However, if you do have a chance, definitely come up here for a sunrise as it provides some phenomenal views. This isn't even that bad. Yeah, this isn't bad. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, here, but it's just not going to be Because it's right here, There's, I feel like there's going to be no traction. No, we'll have traction. We'll have or... It's just being in the right line, not, not driving the other way. This is what I like about off-roading on the East Coast. You get stuff like this. I could be wrong, though, because I've never wheeled out west. Only seen videos. Um... It seems like out there it's really just desert. I know up in Canada it's kind of like this. Yeah, um, let's rock. Max was absolutely correct. As you can see here, even on a small obstacle like this, that is relatively easy. It is still important to take the correct line. So I like about having the front facing camera from the Stinger.
just send it. You gotta tell me twice. Hey, what were you saying about wranglers? That rock right there. Oh. What were you saying about wranglers though? Uh, remember, I don't have traction control. I am the traction control. <laughs> So looking at Gaia, we gotta keep continuing straight, but we got a full road closure. Yeah. That's not that bad. Uh, you might slide a little bit yeah, left to right. Down. I got the knowledge and you got the brains. It's already it looks like it's That's I mean would it work even if you went straight up it? What? Like straight up it rather than on an angle. Oh I mean yeah, I always well, what's always gonna be better? Doesn't that mean that there's something up ahead, maybe a gigantic tree down? Okay, so we are not gonna do that um, little water crossing area. Um, there is a winter bypass um, for the trail, so we are gonna go back, hit that winter bypass, and then that's gonna take us a quarter mile up the uh, road from where we are currently. So here we go, uh, second road closure in about less than a mile. Uh, tree it looks like um her landslide so yeah um gotta find a way to remap around we backtracked and found another bridge that had a steel chain that was preventing us from crossing it okay so that is the third bridge closure we have had and we are by buttermilk falls currently um still in that area uh, it almost seems like when you you know, as you're heading to Buttermilk Falls, you can either go, you know, pass it the way uh, we originally did. However, that bridge was closed. So we tried the bypass, but that bridge was closed and there's a bridge on the way back from the bypass or on the bypass, whatever, but then there's that landslide. Um, but as you're coming to Buttermilk Falls, I believe by looking at the maps, you almost make like a hairpin turn. If instead of doing that, you just stay on that road straight, it's going to follow the Delaware River. So that's what we're going to try and do now. I'm still waiting for the challenging part of this trail. Well, Chris, here you go. The next section of the trail had rutted out mud holes, a portion that got flexy, and even more rock crawling. I was uh, actually in that house as I walked out. Around 3 o'clock, we arrived at the Round Valley Reservoir for a quick driver's meeting and pictures. We decided that we're going to keep pushing into the night to reach the Jackson area. Right before everyone went to bed, one of our members went home since he didn't have the proper sleeping gear. To be fair though, he left work early just to join us. Chris and his great Tacoma with his friend Brian ended up leaving around 7 a.m. since he wasn't feeling well. I hope you're feeling better, Chris. Max and I started packing up quickly since we were meeting up with a friend of mine, Jay, in his Toyota FJ, who I had reached out to a few days prior to leaving.
All right, so we are currently leaving the White Spa Cranberry Bog um, slash village, and we'll be heading out to Wharton now. Um, Got to make up for a fair amount of time that we have lost. Uh, so kind of like last day, I'm not going to be filming much tonight until we get to camp. So it's about 9.30 in the morning. Um, Max and Jay are still asleep. So I just thought I'd go out for a little morning walk. Just try and, you know, wake up for a little bit. See what's over here. Um, I think we got to our campsite last night around like 5.30. Um, we just hung out. Max made uh, burgers and ribeyes. I made um, mini cheesesteaks I got from uh, Marco at Overland X. Um, yeah, we just hung out, talked about random stuff like engine swapping, um, how fast or slow water freezes, and refrigerators and lights and that kind of stuff. It appears here that actually kind of hit a dead end, so I'm going to go back and walk down the other way of the path. So right now is that time where I really wish I had a drone. Um, I definitely want to buy one, though, before the next trip I go on, because right here, there's a lake right there, and I kind of, I'd love to get a aerial shot of that. But yeah, next time, though. Maybe uh, that'll be uh, what I want for my birthday. So I made it out to this little lake area. Um, this is about the farthest I can go because it kind of, you know, overflows into here. But there you go. Still wish I had a drone to shoot this. I headed back to our camp spot and the three of us started packing up. Jay had to head home, so it was up to Max and I to finish his trail today. Jay, thanks for coming out, and you're welcome whenever. Moore's Beach felt like a huge success because from here we were only about 40 miles to the lighthouse. It's not much of a beach. We can go rock crawling if you want. Alright, I'll go right after you. Nah, you can go first. I've been leading this whole trip. Let's 
really nowhere to go. All right, so we're gonna pull the vehicles up there onto the beach and uh, grab some pictures first, and then uh, probably be on our way down to the lighthouse. Okay, so here we go, we made it. Um, got here about 4.30 after leaving Wharton around, I wanna say it was noon. Uh, Max just headed out. Um, actually wasn't even gonna do like a outro now. Um, I kinda just thought of it, but yeah. Um, I'll catch up with everyone when we get home.